Hi, Year 12, this is Mr. Lim again, uh, and this is our second video on amines about chemical properties. Okay, so let's have a look. This is what we're going to be learning. Um, so there's actually not that much, so we'll go straight into it. Okay, so amines. They can undergo base reactions as they are proton acceptors. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's have a look at that. So let's have a look at methanamine. So methane, one amine. It's got the NH2 group with a couple of hydrogens here. All right. So that's your methanamine, and let's add some hydrochloric acid here, hydrochloric acid. Okay, so what happens is that it accepts a proton, and that proton goes on to the amine group. So here's your, rest, here's your normal carbon, and here is your N with the original two H's, and then the H that's from the HCl goes on to this, and then it turns it into a positive ion. Okay, so that whole or that region of the molecule is uh, positively charged. Okay, not the whole thing, but just that region there. Okay, and what does it also form? It also forms a Cl minus ion. Okay, so it accepts protons in uh, just the way that it reacts with acids. Okay, so um, that could be acids in solution or acids, uh, you know, well, in gaseous form and things like that. All right, how do we name this particular organic product that it's made? The positive ions of amines are called alkyl ammonium ions, right? So it's a carbon chain named like a side group and then a ammonium ion. So let's draw propyl ammonium ion. So propyl, one, two, three. It's an ammonium ion, so you've got the NH3 positive, okay? And then you've got all the hydrogens that go on with that one there. Okay, so what would uh, this one be? That would be methyl, methyl ammonium uh, ion. Okay, so it's just the name, carbon chain name like a side group, so that's the methyl part, and then the ammonium ion, methyl ammonium ion or propyl ammonium ion. Okay, um, let's move on. Stupid machine. Go to the next slide. There we go. All right. So if multiple amine groups are present, then they can all accept protons. So let's have a look. You've got butan, 2,3-butan diamine. So butan, 1, 2, 3, 4. Diamine, NH2, NH2 on the two middle ones. Okay. Who can see what I've done wrong there? Oh, no, Mr. Lim, why are you so terrible at drawing? Okay. So to be honest, right? This one here, that bond there would not get you a mark because it's not actually to the end, so you gotta make sure that it goes to the end. This one's a bit better, okay? Because you can see that it definitely goes to the end. Anyway, so that's 2,3-butan-diamine. Um, obviously, I haven't drawn all the hydrogens in either, and that would also lose me marks, but who cares? And then HNO3, okay? So. What that's saying is that there'll be a hydrogen that will go onto there and a hydrogen that will go onto there, which means that it'll end up with something that looks like this, okay? Again, the butane chain, again, the NH, now it's going to be a three, NH3, and these will both be positives, okay? And then I've got all the other carbons there, and then I've got the leftover nitrate ions okay however i will need two of these to go here and here okay so i'm going to need two of them so therefore i'm going to need two of those and so effectively it's saying that this acts like a double base or a polyhydroxide base okay uh, where it can accept multiple protons okay nice and easy um Amines are weak bases, okay, so they are uh, proton acceptors, and so even if you put them in water, they are going to accept the protons from water, and they will partially ionize because they are weak bases. So you've got ethane amine, okay, one, two, three, and then you've got your amine group there. Here's your amine group, okay. We're going to show it hydrolyzing with some water, okay, so it's a weak acid, so double arrows. Okay, and then it's going to form your ethyl uh, ammonium ion, NH3 plus, 
and then all your other hydrogens there which I won't bother drawing and that's also going to form OH minus okay because it took one of the hydrogens there okay so that's what it's going to do when you put it with water it's going to take a hydrogen off the water and turn into a uh, alkyl ammonium ion and then produce OH minus ions and remember whenever we talk about if you're asked to explain something about acids and bases why is something basic because you've got a higher concentration of OH minus uh, compared to uh, hydrogen or hydronium ions okay so you've got to remember to talk about that when t explaining why something is a certain way all right suppose and then the opposite is true for the alkyl ammonium ions okay so just like ammonium which is nh4 the um, alkyl ammonium ions will hydrolyze with water to form again a weak reaction to form back into your amines oops two yep okay and some hydronium ions okay so you can get those alkyl ammonium ions or salts of alkyl ammonium ions because you can't really just get alkyl ammonium ions by themselves you get their salts and then you can um, take those salts dissolve it in water and they will be acidic just because they are a the conjugate base of a weak acid all right and that's it uh next one physical properties